A service catalog is critical within governing your environment. You want to make sure that you're either providing code snippets or, or infrastructure snippets, depending on what your platform is, what you use, Terraform, ARM, CloudFormation. But you want to have those snippets that developers can take advantage of that are already pre-vetted. As you get more advanced, though, what you may look at is having pre-deployment service catalog. And so you work that into your pipeline with like ServiceNow or something like that. And so you, you say, I want a server. And then you just pick your, your server configuration and then it goes through an approval workflow. And then at the end of that, your server is provisioned with best practice configurations. It's already been code scanned and it's handed to you with zero human touch happening through that process. Just people looking at the dashboards and the outputs and saying, okay, this looks right and, and we're good with it. Nice. Well, that's the next step that we find is the service catalog is really effective and solves a lot of problems that I think that we encounter in those environments. 